Well, this is the I Can Do Anything podcast, and um, for the first time ever, we're outside. Cheers, my love. Cheers. It's a beautiful day. It's the first, well, it's not the first beautiful day, but it's hit damn the- close. Oh, you gotta hit the table. Yes. You can hear the birds outside. There's a woman across the street vacuuming her driveway. <coughs> Do you think she's actually, actually vacuuming? She's got to be power washing, but it really looks like she's vacuuming. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Do you actually feel nervous, like like when you were no. getting interviewed for basketball? No, I don't really feel nervous. I just feel like I don't want to exactly do it. You know, what do you like mean? this wouldn't be my first thing to do. You you the one that wanted to do this. D- but did I though? <laughs> It's okay to say that you did. It's okay to say that you're excited. I mean, I kind of did, but I knew once the time came that you wouldn't be I'd feeling be how it I as am much. Right now. Yep. Well, can you explain to me what that what that is? I don't know. I don't. No one's listening to this. Don't worry. It's okay. just you and me. Yeah. Well, and, and my dad. <laughs> oh, that's right. Addison doesn't listen. Maybe. Hmm. You never know. Hmm. I don't know. What are we talking about? Oops. <laughs> um, we were talking about how you feel nervous about oh. being on a microphone. What is that? Mm. It's just recording what you're saying. It's not that big of a deal. I think it. I think it's just the fact that after talking to microphone, it brings back memories of when I first started to have to talk into a microphone. When was way that? Way back in um, 2000. 11 yeah around that time when Whoa. I first started interviewing for basketball games that was high school yeah 2011 you were a freshman or a sophomore sophomore 2011 was when I graduated you would have been in 8th grade what? or ninth grade well maybe I was a, a freshman then I don't know but you were a big I was just throwing a year, I was just throwing a year out there, okay? Oh. You don't know that for sure. Mm-mm. You're just guessing. Correct. Okay. What kind of things did they ask you in 2011 when they put a microphone in front of your face? Everything is... I have no memory of it. You blocked it all out. Yes. I shut to block out <laughs> every interview I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I... Uh, I, th- I think it got bad, not bad, but when I started to feel embarrassed about it is when my friends made fun of me, yeah. and they would be like, hey, everyone, come in, if we were having a slumber party, yeah. they'd say, hey, everybody, come in, you know, in the living room, we'd turn the music up, or the music, the TV up, all the way to the max, yeah. and everybody would just be sitting around laughing at me, and I'd be like, And there was oh, nothing f- you could do about it? I would just talk louder and louder and louder <laughs> so no one could hear. <laughs> I've done that to you a couple of times, and now I feel a little bad about it. Bad, bad about what? I've you done what? a similar thing to you several times. Oh, you don't feel bad. Do I? No. You don't know what I feel. Y- you don't. <laughs> but what if, I mean, if you could, what if I do feel bad a little bit? But like, okay, so... <laughs> Let's really think about it here for a second. Okay, Do I'm you thinking, really I'm feel thinking. bad about it? Um, the answer's no. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I do. I mean, a little bit because I know that that's an insecurity of yours, and it's a. It may, it, I mean, it's funny, but it's a real thing, you know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, have a, do you have a list of questions for me today or what? No. No. Nope. In your defense, the questions that you probably got asked were really bad questions, I would assume. Like, what were you thinking about w- out there? I don't think I ever struggled with answering the... Well, it would seem like I struggled because I was nervous. Yeah. And I would kind of repeat myself. And there's a lot of times where the questions were stupid. Almost and, and every then, time, probably. And then you would say, like, two words. And you would feel like you have to keep going make it more yeah but it's like i don't so then that's when i would start being repetitive and that's when i looked bad and that's when i started hating it i think (laughs) in in my work that's the biggest 
issue that people have when doing testimonials and anything on camera. You feel like you just got to keep talking. And really, it's, it's okay to just stop. You can just complete your thought and then just just not talk anymore. I think people worry about like being a bad interview and like not saying enough or like not yeah. being compelling enough. And when you try to be like when you when you try too hard to be like compelling and interesting, then you just end up. That's when people get awkward and yeah. <laughs> At least someone understands it. I understand. Thank you. I'll only be taking interviews from you from here on out. That's it? I'm yes. the only one? Because you're the only one that understands? Yeah. Okay. I'll accept <laughs> it. I'll take it. Let's see here. Do you have a list of questions for me? Yes. Do yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is good. This is going to be good. <clears throat> It just give me a second here. Maybe you'll talk to them a little bit <laughs> you before want me to they fill sign some, off. Some or, dead air here. Yeah. Nobody's leaving. They're not going anywhere. You're right. If if you're if you're listening with us, I'm drinking a Michelob Ultra. BD across from me is drinking a little bit of Jack Daniels on the rocks. I wish it was Honey Jack with w- my boy Big S. <laughs> 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 I wish it was Honey Jack too. Um and boy, it is a fucking fantastic day. I was just FaceTiming with my friend JR, who lives in Los Angeles, California. And he said it was cold here because I told him it was 57, but it feels fantastic out here. The sun is shining. There's a bunch of people outside where we live. You got a question? No. Oh, you just want me to keep going? Yeah. Well, I had something to say. Go ahead. Well, not. Say it to me. What you. Oh, I was just going to mention, you mentioned the um, perfect weather. Yeah. How it is perfect because you're good with shorts or sweatpants and a sweatshirt on or, you know, because I have a, a sweatshirt on and sweatpants and it might be a little chilly, too chilly though, if you just had yeah. a t-shirt. I think what's and, nice about the, the mid to late 50s, the late 50s, the mid to high 50s, late 50s works. It's more if you're talking about years though. But what's nice about that is that you can do, you can do it all. You can be okay, like if you're exercising and your if your body's nice and warm, you can be in shorts and a t-shirt. And if you're sitting outside, talking into a microphone with someone that you love so dearly, you can be in a sweatshirt. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> okay, what you got in there? So just, I, wow, that's I, a full I, page of notes. I, I googled. Oh, you googled. Yeah. Okay, I didn't, tell me what you googled. I wish I, I wish I knew we, we were for real doing this, because mm-hmm. then I would have came up with questions. But that's for the second podcast we do together. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to have questions. We can just talk about th- anything. All right, whatever. You got Goodbye. you got some relationship questions or something there that you pulled up? No. <laughs> oh. It was just questions you should ask somebody during a podcast. Did you really Google that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I want to. What are they? Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't think you wanted them. Yeah. No, I, I, it sounds intriguing now. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you're gonna have to give me a minute again. That's okay. Oh. A little bit of dead space is all right. It gives the people some time. Oh, what I, what I meant to say was that I'm drinking a Michelob Ultra. And you're drinking a Jack Daniels. And I just want the people to to maybe pour themselves something while they listen to us. I talk mean, about why stuff. not? You know, it's a, yeah, why not? You don't got shit else to do, you know? Why not? Okay, what are they? Why, don't, why doesn't. Shh, no, 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 no. Shh. Try to get you. Okay. <laughs> so, what, what led you to doing this podcast? Like, what. How did the I can really do anything? How did the I can do anything? You know, topic, b- title, all happen for you. Because I like. We walk us through this whole thing. Because I like. How'd you? What about the I can do anything? And oh. then with the basketball spinning on, <clears throat> of the finger. Well. My finger. That's your finger. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's right. I don't think many people probably knew that. Do you think anybody can tell that it's your finger just no. just based off of the the no. silhouette of it? It kind of looks like something you just found. No, yeah, we made that. We made that shit. We shot it 
and I fucking made that shit. I put the text in there. It's all original content here at the I Can Do Anything podcast. <laughs> You're telling me, you know? Um, the basketball is spinning on a finger because it's a basketball podcast. But I can do anything. You know? Obviously. So it doesn't have to be basketball. <laughs> like if, for example, there was no basketball. All of a sudden, for some reason. Why do you think that would happen? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> then you could just talk about anything. Or, like, maybe if you had a bunch of friends that you wanted to talk to about Las Vegas. Things like that. Something you know? along those lines. You could just do it. And I really like podcasts. I like just listening to people talk, as you know. You make fun of me. I don't, a great I don't deal. know. What? You make fun of me for it. Who's your favorite person to listen to? I don't think I have a favorite, so to speak. <laughs> Someone that you listen to a lot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I just really like listening to people talk, and I like taking in information. And Do you like I doing like it because you feel like you... you, you so you want to learn in a way? I love... You just want to... Yes, I like learning a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's a really awesome way, I think, to digest a bunch of different kind of information there's so many awesome podcasts out there and i just felt like i'm a pretty awesome guy and i had some awesome things to say from time to time yeah i like the game of basketball and i played it pretty much my whole life and i think i have some some nice things to say about the game of basketball and i think i have some nice things to say about life and even if nobody listens to it i mean why not make it available for someone that's an eight-year-old that, that might be like Wow, I can do anything. You're so right. I just want people to know that they can do anything. And How sometimes do you... I really don't even believe that you that, that that I can do anything, but it's just a nice thing to live by, you know. I completely agree. Um, so you want like 8-year-olds, younger people to listen to the, you would like it if like y you're good with anybody, anybody. listening to it, yeah, but whatever. You would like for, you know, younger kids to listen to it and realize that they can do anything? Mm -hmm. Yes. Or just anybody. Yeah. It doesn't, they don't have to be younger. Mm -hmm. I just want somebody to listen to it and be like, oh, wow. I can do Take anything. Something I can do it. whatever I fucking want. Yeah. I mm -hmm. could talk about basketball. Or I could talk about buttholes, you know? <laughs> Did you find a spider? Found what something. What is it? Found something. I think it was fine. We're good. Okay. We just got the table out, the the, the outdoor furniture out in the backyard it's a little bit a little bit cobwebby a little bit spidery but we're working through it we're gonna have dinners out here soon yes, again for sure They're should we nice have dinner out here tonight i was thinking about it do you think it'll be too cold by that time yes i mean it's already shouldn't. it's already six o'clock and then we're yeah I we're probably dinner, not gonna start making gotta, dinner for like another hour i know and then we gotta. We'd be having some late dinner. You we know? have to make brownies. We do have to, to make brownies. Tonight, I mean, because it's kind of a special day. What? Some people would say. Why would you, Why would you say that? Because it's the second of April. What's the second of April? If you want to tell the f fans out there. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should tell them. <clears throat> Sorry, I was taking a sip. Um, it's Lena's birthday. Her first birthday. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> It's great. <laughs> She's living life out there. Who's that? Oh, that is your parents, Gail and Scott Meadowcroft. Did I say that correct? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and <laughs> it is their lovely dog that they got? How how long ago? Maybe. Mom just told me they said they've had a, had it for three months now. Three months. So just wow. about three months. I feel like she's been in the family a little longer. Well, they got her when she was eight months. So yeah. That makes sense that she would now be one year old. If yes, it makes out. That's that's like a math. You know? I was just saying, like it no, just feels like she's been around a lot. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, so another question. <laughs> so, babe, <laughs> what do you think your unique skill or skills are? You know, is that. What do, you, what do I think my unique no, skills are? No, we're actually going to skip this one. Yeah, you can, yeah. I want you to answer that. What? No, you tell I me? asked you. <laughs> I can't say that word right. Axed? I asked you. Why can't you say it right? You say it right all the time. You're right. 
Just because you're black doesn't mean you have to say it like all I the mean, other blacks I mean, you make fun do. of me all the time how I say it, so. <laughs> I mean, if I got to ask you a question, I got to ask you a question. <laughs> Okay. I don't think I have any unique skills. Your turn. Come on. I think you do. <laughs> Go ahead. Unique. You don't think I you're don't, unique? I don't. I mean, I think I. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? It's you. Come on. I think you know what my unique skills are, and I don't even know if they're that unique. I mean, a lot of people. What are they? Have the skills that I have. Then that makes it not unique. Yeah. I would have to think about this for a while. I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm good at video editing, and I'm good at operating a camera. Mm -hmm. But those things aren't that unique. A lot of people are good at those things, and I'm in the grand scheme of things, really compared to the like the best of the best, not that not that good at it. You know. Yeah, I've heard that. Um unique skill could that be like you know like uh, you know how people can make the little hot dog thing with their tongue uh huh would that be a unique skill oh you can do it hey <laughs> <laughs> no no that's not I unique because so. a lot of people can do that too yeah. I can't do it but there's a lot of people that can unique skill well, what would you say LeBron's unique skill would be oh he's the best basketball player in the world so basketball but that's not unique that's because a saying. lot of other people are good at basketball. Yes, He's just way thinking. better than all of them. Yeah. So. Um, a lot of people I think talk it's about. Kinda... Go ahead. Go ahead. Are we gonna have a standoff? Yes. A lot of people talk about LeBron's unique skill being his like basketball IQ and his ability to like recall. <laughs> Like play for play, like what happens. I think that thing's overblown a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's uh, like I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a little overblown. Yeah, it's definitely impressive, but you can do like you've done that before. I've I've heard you talk about a play where you know like I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's that difficult to break. Yeah, That's I wouldn't. His job. I wouldn't call that unique really either. Yeah. Do you think that? I think that a large portion of the population probably doesn't have a identifiable unique skill. Like there's not that many people that like really I could, I could stand agree. out like that. A lot of people have skills. Can and a lot of people of, are intelligent, but their skills aren't necessarily unique. Can you think of anyone with a unique skill? No, not off the Me top either. of my head. Me neither. I don't know anyone with a unique skill. Should I go on to the next? No, I think this is interesting. Let's okay. stay on this for a bit. All right. Whoops. Do you think Noah has a unique skill? Noah. Let's see here. Or anyone in the Noah family? <sighs> the Noahs. I mean, I think we know the answer. You know? Yes. Is that what you're thinking? He's a golf coach. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I really don't think. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, this is interesting. I don't know that. Do you think it's unique if people play with, like, it, people like Kendall, my best friend, shoot basketball mm -hmm. with their left hand and do all sports with their left hand, but writes with their right hand? That's probably more that's unique, unique than than anything. Yeah, I, I know too. I know Rob does that. Has he does that too? He shoots left handed, and writes right handed. I think there's a lot like LeBron does. Uh, yeah, yeah, LeBron yeah. writes left handed. And I believe. Doesn't. I think he does some random shit left handed. Yeah, LeBron writes left handed. And he's and he's like shot a decent amount of shots in the NBA. I mean, not a lot, but like there's been a couple times where he's like done little lefty like. I don't know, they're like did. little set shots almost, yeah. kind of. Like not a floater, not a really a runner, not really a layup, but like kind of a shot, like an in-betweener type of deal. He did one of those in not the, long ago. In the finals, he's done it a couple times. Um, yeah, being ambidextrous, there's a spider crawling up the speaker wire. Kill it. He's going to try to go into the into the, Blow the mixer. <laughs> he's gone. Okay. Um, <laughs> crisis averted. Um 
Yeah, I think being ambidextrous is definitely... I, I want our kids to be ambidextrous pretty bad. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, I think that'd be awesome, too. I just think it makes you a lot more versatile. It makes you... Do you think... Unique. Do you think we're going to have kids? Yes. I think we will. Oh. It's just the headphones. It's not there the... Go. It's not the speaker. Oh. Or it's not the microphone. It's just your headphones. Oh. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have kids. Do you? I do. Maybe... Yeah, I think I think we'll have maybe three. Three. Three ish. Is that what you want? I whenever I talk to my friends and people, just people about kids and stuff, and when they ask how many kids do you want to have, my answer is always three. I could, li- I, think, I could live with three. I think three because I don't know. I just feel like that's a perfect number, almost. Just because it is my favorite number. Yes. Do you want to tell us why right now, or maybe? No, it's not okay. really. It's not. Yeah. Okay. Um. Because I I want to have definitely more than one because I don't want my child to be lonely. Yes. Two. Two is nice. Two is nice. Yeah. If you have, I feel like if maybe we had kids, you know, if we had a boy and a girl, I would think about not having another yeah, kid. Yeah, I think if if it, if you get boy girl, then two, then I think we yeah. would just stop at two. I'm glad. I'm glad we're agreeing there. But if we go girl girl or boy boy, then I think we got to try for yes, the opposite. Yes, that's exactly what I feel. I always want to try for the opposite after two if we have the same. Of and if two, we go girl 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 girl, then we got to go for. So we're we not going to have that many girls. What the fuck? No. <laughs> Was that six? <laughs> <laughs> I used to be very. Um, yeah, I always just wanted a boy. Did you, you I was ever? Very scared of never having a boy, but I don't think I'd be that. I think I'd be okay with it now. With having, I think if with I just had all him. girls, yeah. I'd be okay with it. I mean, obviously, there's there's nothing I can do about it except just keep trying. But that's not really necessarily uh, the best way to live your life. No, you know, because then you'll probably just yeah. keep having gir- girls when you don't like. Yeah. You can't, you know. The world has its way of doing things to people like that. It does. I don't feel like I was that much of a... You know how, like, there's that that thing that people say about guys that were dicks to girls yes. end up having all girls? Or, like, guys that were too wild? I think that I've... Uh, I was okay. I, I think I'm going to be on that... Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I was that much of a douchebag. My brother was a douchebag, and he had a boy, so... Yeah. That's probably... <laughs> he wasn't really... I mean, he left a, his prom date at a place, just ditched her. It's kind of well, everybody, douchey. Yeah, it's Everybody does douchey. that? I mean, everybody... <laughs> everybody. I think most men have a douchey moment oh, yeah. or two. Yeah. But, like, like uh, Charlemagne the God always talks about how he was a fucking scumbag and was just fucking girls left and right and cheating on his girlfriends and cheating on his now wife. And then he ended up having three girls or two girls, I think. He cheated on his now wife? Yeah, a lot. Oh. And this was very vocal about it while it was happening, too. I guess I've only heard him talk about well, how much he loves her. Yeah. Uh, in the last couple of years, he's been on the black men don't cheat thing. Yeah. He's be- he's become a faithful black man. Why? Um, I think he realized that... It's not worth it. It's not worth it's it. Just it's just a lot of childish. It's just a lot of stress <laughs> that you don't need in your life. Yeah. I, I went... When I was in high school, I did that... Is there a, is there an animal? No, there's kids swinging from a branch. Oh, do they have a do they have a rope on the tree? Yeah, yeah. is oh, that what that is? I've never seen that. Oh, I was thinking it was kind of. <laughs> oh no, it's just a limb. Wait, okay, yeah, I don't know. I, it, I don't know. It looks yeah, it, it looks, looks like dangly a, like a rope, but it, it looks I don't like know. a yeah. There's a piece of trash in the backyard out there. Do you see it? Our backyard? Yeah, a little clear thingy out oh, there. Oh yeah, I see it. I thought that's where you were pointing at. No. Gotcha. Um. I did the, I did the, the, I wasn't cheating because I wasn't in a relationship, but I like prolonged being in a relationship so that I could do the balancing two girls thing. And it is not worth it. It is a lot of stress. One girl knew about the other, but the other didn't know. And it's just too much. It's just, it's just too much stress. Yeah, that's how, yeah. I couldn't relate kind of. Did you do the same thing? Or did, or were you the girl that was. I was with someone that I didn't exactly want to be with, but then I wanted to be with the other person, 
so I was still kind of hanging out with them, not saying we're not saying we're in a, in a relationship and stuff, but yeah. I knew I couldn't be with them because they, I knew they were leaving soon away from the area. When was this? Senior year of high school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so so you then were it, go I was just like, yeah. yeah, I was like, yeah, this crap is just too. Yeah. And that's when I started thinking about really thinking about people, and like hearing when I hear about people cheating, I'm like. I don't know. That's when I really was against it. I guess I was against it before when other things well, happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've got but, some family issues that but, have um, probably caused that. Yeah, What's funny just, to me is that what what I think is interesting about you is that like I got cheated on in high school and for a long time it made me devalue relationships a lot. It made me like not really give a fuck about relationships and for a long time and still a little bit to today I always kind of felt like um monogamy is stupid and people aren't meant to be with one person che- being cheated on pushed me in in the opposite direction that you seeing your dad cheat on your mom pushed you like you saw it felt it not in the same way that I did or not in the same way that your mom felt it but it like pushed you in the direction of like, wow, that cheating shit is stupid, and I never want that to a happen to me, and b happen to somebody that I love, or I just don't ever want to be a part. I just think it's kind of interesting that it like pushed us in completely different directions. I went the I went in the direction of like, fuck relationships, that shit is stupid, and you kind of like doubled down on relationships almost, and and like you I value guess, it a yeah, lot. Yeah, that was kind of like a. Yeah, I guess for a while, I was just young still, so I wasn't, I knew at the time too that if I got in a relationship with somebody, it wasn't going to be, it was probably not going to last, so then I was like, eh. So I never really looked at relationships as a, I never, I knew I wasn't going to get in a deep relationship with anybody. In high school? Yeah. Yeah. In pretty much college. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, that's how... I hear about my friends. People go away. My yeah. friends are complaining and stuff. I'm like, dude, you're probably not going to be with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this dude's going back to Europe. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. See, mine in high school was a, my first real relationship is when I got cheated on. And so from that point on, I was like, oh yeah, I'm not doing this relationship thing. Because anybody that I'm with now, it's not going to happen. And in college, I was like all about friends. Like I just wanted to, because I, I lost a lot of time with friends in high school, being with a girl that was fucking stupid. And I was like, wow, that shit's dumb. Why would yeah. I waste my time with that? I just want to be with my friends. Yeah. That's how. Even yeah. when we met, I was still in that mode, kind of. And then. Yeah. And then I, I was I think like, it's oh, wait, that wow, both oh. of us. We, neither of us were looking. Yeah, and both of us were still in that and still are like friends. Yeah. It's important to yeah. go be with friends. I I'm happy. I'm not and I'd never like those couples that are get a boyfriend or girlfriend and they just completely forget about their friends until they break up again. <laughs> yeah. And then they're trying to be with you again. It's yeah, I was lucky really that my annoying. friends were still there cuz I kind of treated my friends like shit for like a year. Yeah. <laughs> How's that ultra? Uh, it's um, it's all right. This I guess. stuff is. I mean, is it getting warm? Things are. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you have? What's your next? Uh, what's your next question? Or did you put your phone oh. away? Do we have anything more? I don't even know how we started talking about that, but that was uh, that's what this is all about. That's what you it, know? it's all about, you know. What did that start with? I have no idea. Skills. <laughs> Skills. Skills. Somehow we started talking about relationships. <laughs> I don't know how that started. It's okay. What do you think the most common reason is for when people are failing or giving up? In life? In life. Or in their Holy current, shit. you know, work or something like that. So just life. Yes. Yes the most common thing the most common reason yes since this is the i can do anything yeah podcast why do you think that they can't do anything 
I think a lot of it is childhood trauma. Yeah. I would say that too. I think that a lot of people underestimate the effects of little shit, like very minute shit that happens in your childhood and how it, how it manifests itself in your adult life. Like I know that you struggle with a lot of stuff today that is just from some dumb shit when you were a kid. I'm the same way. I think everybody is. I, I, I really, yeah, that's probably, I think a lot of people just doubt themselves. I don't, I don't think that people are confident enough in this life. And that if they, if they don't, if they don't achieve something or if they don't even try to achieve something, it's because they just, uh, they just kind of think like, oh, well, I'm just. Do you think people that these days are just too spoiled kind of in a way? Yeah. Yeah. Every, I mean, shit, we live a really comfortable life. Like, it's pretty easy to just be like, oh, well, I got a house. I got, a ro- you know, even if you don't have a house, I got a roof over my head. I got a nice little job here. I got I got somebody that loves me. You know, we don't really struggle very often. Mm-hmm. So it's easy to just be like, oh, well, I'll just chill. I don't need to achieve my dreams I don't know do people even the whole dreams thing is an interesting thing to me do you have like strong like strong dreams like no absolutely not yeah I don't know if there's many people that do (laughs) I've never really had that either like people I know people even think that I did I guess when I was playing basketball yeah, going want, up to college they yeah. were like oh she definitely wants to play on WNBA and yeah. stuff and I was like yeah. I never felt that really strong I don't I guess that goes to be what you're passionate about too kind of yeah I just don't think that there's that many people that really have like a clear thing that they want to achieve and, and maybe that's part of the reason Nobody ever really designates or part of it is like coming up with, you know, goals for yourself. I don't know that people ever really define like a, like a really specific goal. Like I want to be when I'm 27 working for this company or I want to have this much in sales. It's on the, it's on the side of your chair on the top. Yep, I see it. A little spidey. <laughs> now it's gone. <laughs> you fucking, you got your eyes are better than I thought. <laughs> when it comes well, to spiders, now I got it. Both of When it comes to spiders, you got a keen. You got a keen. You got a keen eye, and it probably helps that the sun is shining on me. How do I look? I mean, fantastic. I took me a like picture this. of you. Don't worry. <laughs> Um, what was that question again? God damn, I don't even know. Yeah, it's right in front of you. Oh, shit. Forty-seven. Sorry, you're right. <sighs> Common reason why people fail or give up. Right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I think that they don't truly have something that they really want to achieve. And I don't even know if they fail necessarily, because if you don't have something that you're setting out to achieve, then are you really failing? That is such a good question. Like, do you feel like, well, I guess you didn't really have anything that you were shooting for, really. You were just kind of living. Like right now? Yeah. What are you shooting for? Or what were you shooting for in this life when you were a kid? Did you ever, like, clearly like, talk like about... Like, my adult life, what was I shooting for? Anything. Like, like... I mean, the only thing I was shooting for when I was a kid was... Just playing basketball, like. So was the, it the like best going I, to Division One? It wasn't even that really. It was that for like my dad, but yeah, it was just me being the best that I could be with basketball. I mean, school wasn't pushed on me at all in any kind of way. It wasn't. It was nothing with that. It was just mainly basketball. And um, were you just trying to have fun? Like you just love playing basketball, so you just wanted to play it and be as good as you yeah, could be I and didn't, have fun. I didn't even. I didn't even hear about AAU until my junior year of high school. Yeah, it's crazy to me. <laughs> and I didn't, I mean, I tried it, couldn't, didn't work out with family and stuff, so then I didn't do it. Yeah, AAU's tough and financially. It, yeah, and then um, 
I don't know. I just mainly literally until the end of my senior year was when I started thinking about college and school and stuff because I wasn't told about yeah anything really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I was going to visit these schools, I didn't like I went to go take it, my SAT and ACT and stuff and I was I didn't have anything to help me prepare in a way. I guess it was just kind of, I think they sent me something to study, but like, I didn't even know about it like that. You you probably weren't taking it seriously because nobody in your family was telling you to take it seriously. No, no. (laughs) So I wasn't, it was, I guess mainly just basketball, but for me, I wasn't, I was just trying to play great. And once I got to Wright State, I, I ended up leaving Wright State. I was really upset about because I knew I wasn't gonna play at this level how like great I could play were you upset and, or were you upset that you disappointed your dad n- no um I mean I was upset about that but I was even last year when I was done my last year playing at trying I was upset that I wasn't doing things like shooting a layup with my left hand because I know if I was playing Division Division One basketball, I would have to shoot with my left yeah. hand. And I was just upset that I couldn't see my. I'll never really be able to see myself play at my highest level. So I you know just I didn't think that you were as good as you could have been. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think that, I mean, you were by far the best player on the court with maybe the exception of a game or two that I saw. And even the Thomas Moore game, I think in a lot of ways you were better than that one bitch. Yeah, so do I. (laughs) But especially mentally, she seemed like she was a little fucking crazy. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, there was certainly room for improvement. Yeah. Um, So I guess if you weren't thinking about you, if you were just trying to play basketball, like, was there ever conversations about life after basketball? Was there ever conversations about life after college? And like, it was once I got to trying. With who? Ryan Gold. <laughs> okay, and what was that like? What was it, like? What was he trying to? I mean, he was. I wasn't taking school that serious until like mid year, sophomore year, I guess, or the end. And that's when, like, they were, he mainly was pushing on me about school and how, like, him and Jess, they were just up my butt about, like, what do you want to do afterwards and land, too, I guess. Yeah. (laughs) They were just trying to help me figure it out. Still, they're still trying to help me figure it out, Jess. Yeah. About, like, that's when I started thinking about after school. And I guess I did start kind of thinking about it after when I left Right state because I remember one day at right state I walked into the office the head coach's office and I walked past the book of all the players grades and everybody had like D's and F's yeah. <laughs> besides like three yeah. or something like I that. See that yeah so I was like that's when I was like oh shit like I'm not about to keep playing but I, I, I was never passionate really about playing after college I don't know because I already had I think I started thinking like that once I already had a thousand ankle sprains in yeah. high school and then I got hyperextended my knee and that's when it's just been bad ever since. And I was like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of a sissy and I'm not, <laughs> I never wanted a serious injury. Well, I can't does. believe I never went. Yeah. I know, but I'm like a sissy about it is what I'm saying. Yeah. Is it Shay just tore ACL for a second time? She's still trying to play. I wouldn't do that. After the first time, probably. You you played through a lot of injuries throughout college. You were, I think, I don't know if you're giving yourself enough credit. You played through a lot. You had a lot of serious knee shit going on. Yeah, I did, but I'm just like to the point of surgeries is what. Yeah, that's true. I guess you never had like any surgeries or anything like super serious. Yeah. You just had a little little knee tendonitis or whatever. (laughs) <laughs> I don't yeah. even know if it was tendonitis. <laughs> yeah, tendonitis in high like school. Right and then word. Got Isn't that what that little little band under your knee, yeah. your patella is, mm-hmm. little for tendonitis? Yep. There's a lot of little fluttery bugs out here. Did you have any um, knee injuries? Would you? No, I was really fortunate. Yeah, I never what did you have? nothing with my knee. It was uh, just ankles. 
Yeah. I fractured both ankles. Did you in have them school. wrapped, taped? Uh, yep. Each I taped them. Day? Yep. Yep. I um, yeah. I fractured. I fractured my 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 one of my ankles um in the summer between my freshman or or maybe it was between eighth grade and freshman year either between eighth grade and freshman year or freshman and sophomore year and then the following year in the aau season in the spring i fractured the other ankle and actually built them way like i I built them up to the point where like now or even at that point they were like a lot stronger than they were before were you really good with keeping up with your exercises and yeah stuff? yeah we had a great trainer our high school trainer was fucking awesome she was really good and nice. she was just a nice person and she she was really diligent and she like was all over me about it and we had really great summer programs like we had bands like bands resistance training and like uh this thing called vertimax it was like a vertical training thing and yeah the the hospital i guess was was garrett high school like was your trainer provided by the the Calb Hospital or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I, I would assume that's how, how most of them are. But no, Brindy was really awesome. And uh, yeah, I got to the point where I could like wear low tops and like I was, I was like training my ankles to be stronger. Um, nice. And in college, I didn't I didn't tape at all, and I, I wore, I guess they were like mid to low shoes but yeah my my, especially like my freshman year when i played at trine i felt like my ankles were as strong as they ever were and then i rolled it once and that kind of you feel like you would end up having a tape if you kept going i did like the last half of my freshman year when i was playing because uh there was a basketball on the baseline during practice once and i came down on it and rolled Mm. it really fucking oh my gosh yeah i I rolled it so fucking good yeah that was the only time that I ever felt like Coach Lindsay gave a fuck because I rolled because I, I I landed on that ball and rolled my ankle really bad, and he like came up to me afterwards and was like he's like I feel so bad I I put that ball there, and I thought to myself I should move it and yeah. I just didn't. And he he like that was the one time I genuinely felt like they gave a fuck about me. It was just that one little moment where he was like I put that there and felt like I should move it and for some reason just didn't. You should. Oh my god! But I kicked every single ball that was Oh yeah! Uh, ever anywhere. since then, I've am yeah. Even like, yeah. It, per, any kind of practice I'm ever at, challenger league, anything like that. Like I was always really diligent about moving a basketball out of the way because that shit hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I'm cringing over here. Yeah, the last <clears throat> two months of the season, I was ready for it to be over. <laughs> Partially because. Yeah, partially because the coaching staff sucked yeah. at that point. Yeah. And uh, it's a, the injury. It sucks when the coaching staff pushes you away from playing yeah. the sport that you love. Yeah. <laughs> In it. Yeah. I don't yeah. regret it, but there's definitely times where I'm like, fuck, I wish I would have kept playing. Mm-hmm. Did you consider going to a different school? transferring yeah but not to play basketball no i was ready to be done yeah i was i was uh yeah my body was ready i think it was more mentally though honestly i was just ready to do some other shit i'm really glad that i studied abroad that completely changed my life and without that i would have if i would have kept playing basketball i wouldn't have been able to do that i just got cold yeah i'm cold i'm shivering a little bit i think i think mosquitoes are out the mosquitoes? I saw one mosquito. Okay, what else? You got more <coughs> questions on that let's little sheet of questions there? Let's see here. Boys and girls. Mouth. Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is your favorite word? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. He word. doesn't like that one. My All favorite right. word is the number four in Czech, and it's pronounced shtishi. No comment. (laughs) (laughs) What? Do you think think that our neighbors who are in the backyard pulling... Is that an older kid? Oh, that's the son. No, that's the son. That's That's the son. Do you think that they think we're weird because we're in the backyard with with, with microphones? Well, they're fucking weird. (laughs) 
כאן היה. שגע. אורייט. What's your favorite word? I don't have one. Oh. Mine for probably, real though is shtishi. It's probably brand. That's a name. It's a word still. Is it though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. These aren't good. All right, it's your turn for of the question. Of course not good. <laughs> what? Whatever. Hater. You Googled podcast questions. Okay, what the f- You didn't- All right. They're, they're, they're good because they got us- They got us f- about f- 40 minutes. Of, of chit chat. <coughs> Should we invite our neighbors to come join the podcast? No. You want to ask them any questions? Shit. Not really. How many cigarettes do you smoke? Oh, is that rude? How many cigarettes do you smoke? <laughs> 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 All right. Nine great podcast interview questions. This is funny. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay. What advice would you maybe <laughs> give someone wanting to pursue a career similar to yours? To mine? Yes. Hmm. Buy a camera and film a bunch of shit <laughs> and work for free. Yes. Thank you. They're about to start a fire. Oh, I hope it warms us up a bit over here. Shit, goddamn. Awesome. <laughs> you think your dad's going to text gonna you during this and be like, what, what the, the fuck is goddamn buzzing? <laughs> 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 Just Google it. Google goddamn Boda 7. <laughs> and you, it's a black lady looking homeless. He won't think it's funny. He'll think it's funny. He'll think if, it's funny. If you think it's funny, he'll think it's funny. Is that how that works? Uh, yes. You're a very influential person in this life. I People ran look out up of, to you. I ran out of my drink. You want to go get more? Yes. Okay, go ahead. While I'm gone, maybe you can answer the question that is who are the three people who have been the most influential to you i can't i can't just answer a question that whatever. if you're not here whatever whatever <laughs> oh my God, man, seven, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i will tell the people about one of our sponsors for the podcast today this episode of the i can do anything podcast is brought to you by slump by Dave Jarzina. Uh, Jarzina's debut novel is the tale of a 13-year-old named Mitchie Evers. He's at odds with every single person in his life. His friends, even old reliable best buddy Sammy, no longer seem to appreciate Mitchie's sparkling wit. His parents are so busy gushing about his perfect older brother that they don't have time for Mitchie. One by one, he alienates his best friend, family teachers, and former soccer coach with his bullheadedness and his inappropriate and ill-timed sense of humor. With his penchant for hurting and insulting people, Mitchie makes a convincing jerk. He knows he's a little bit too young to be in a serious slump. But what can he do about it? Purchase the book that countless readers recommend anywhere that you buy books, whether it's Barnes & Nobles, Amazon, Audible, Apple Books, Google Play, and more. And the podcast is also brought to you by Beat Freak. Beat Freak, when it comes to making beats, you don't need sophisticated beat-making software. You don't even need instruments. With powerful technology that has an array of instruments to choose from, you never have to use a tinny-sounding snare snippet or a dull guitar riff again. The latest in synthesizer and electronic production. It's a lot of drink, girl. <laughs> Shit, goddamn. <laughs> The latest in synthesizer and electronic production components comes at an affordable price with Beat Freak. Visit beatfreak.com backslash anything for your limited time offer at amazing professional quality sounding instruments at your fingertips. Don't be a freak. Get Beat Freak. Hey! Would you like to read one of the ads for today? Nope. Didn't think this so. This is maybe if you want to have a sip or two or three. Yeah, that's a lot. Four. Of well, that was just the rest alcohol. of it, so... I just. I mean, it is. Sp- it is a special okay. day, you yeah. know. Well, what's today? A very special day. What is it? Malf. Would you like to cheers, cheers. To, to a special day and to our love? To our love, my love. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should have a sip. Okay. I'll do it. I know. What do you think? S'mores. Snap me. 
Whatever it is, please hold it up to the mic so the people can hear it. <clears throat> okay. It's probably the dog, though, so it's probably... <laughs> Sounds like a bunch of noise. Yep, it was just noise. What was it? It, it, it was, was the dog. Was it dog in the, in the yard? Yep. My friend wants us to send her the link of this. Who is it? My girl from Virginia. Oh, from the My All-Star, All-Star game. Girl. <laughs> Hell yeah. I can't wait for you, babe. You're going to meet her one day. She's awesome. I want to. We're, we're, we're friends. We're great friends, okay? Can I see what she looks like? Yes. She lives in New York. Like the city? Yes. Well. How's she doing? Is she surviving out there? She's uh, She's been at home. Yeah. Why would she be at home, though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people like to be at home, you know? Oh. She calls Sometimes herself. Sometimes you gotta be at home. Don't make any rude comments. <laughs> I saw her in the airport. Don't make any with that hat about on. Her while I look no, at the just pictures. about life. Oh, I, I know. Not about her. She's awesome. You can't make rude comments about her. She's. Hops music. Is this her? Yeah, she loves music. I told you she's the one that works for oh. at a radio place. Oh, that's cool. And she's loving it. She that first picture picture I had you she's on. She's a DJ. Yeah, she's she's been. I don't know if she's like an actual DJ, but she's been doing a lot of that. Yeah. What's her name? I want to I want to say hi to her. Her name's Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. What's How up, about girl? you? Go to Snapchat. And her name's Hops. On there, just hit double tap. Hops in the recent. Okay, with the fedora. fedora I told I told her bitch. I told her a lot about what. <laughs> <laughs> What's a fedora? Will you tell me? This type of deal right here. I know. It, she had that thing on when we were in the airport. Mm-hmm. She was the first one I saw, too, before the whole thing. We were waiting you at the airport. Me, Ring. She came up to me. She said, hey, you look like a hooper. Are you trying to... She said, you going to Virginia? <laughs> I said, yeah. In the airport? Yeah. <laughs> and then, so then this other <laughs> basketball girl, me and her are chilling, mm-hmm. and then this other girl... She look, We were like, you think she looks like a basketball player? You think she's going to? So then we were like, hey. <laughs> and we got her. She she went. She's a girl from Emory. Oh, okay. And she's a girl we played with in the finals or whatever, but um, championship. And that's how we we were sitting together on every bus ride. We were sitting together with everything. We weren't on the same team, though. So they kicked our ass. We lost by fucking like 30 or something stupid like that. But Yeah, that shit doesn't matter. I mean, goddamn, I, shoot, I shot my shot. You for me? <laughs> <laughs> How do I look at her stuff on Snapchat? I'm trying to, I, don't I don't know. What, I don't know. You can't see her. You can't see her stuff on Snapchat. That's what I thought. You could just, I thought you were going to say hi to her on Snapchat. Oh, no, I was saying hi to her on this podcast. I know. So Because she's listening right now. Oh, that's right. Okay. Never mind then. I'll send her a snap. Okay. Her name's Hops. Um, Double tap on hops. Okay, so I just record the video and then I send it to her. So, just in case, my girl, yo, you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't talking to you. No, you're not talking to me. <laughs> he doesn't have any social media. I probably told you this before while we were back in Virginia, living our best lives. But yeah, we're teaching him right now. Okay, go ahead. My name's Lindsay. Yes. Hi, Lindsay. I don't know what else to say. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here not, we go. Not sending it. Yeah, I know you won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send her the link, though. <laughs> okay. We need all the viewership we can get, you know? We need all the help we can get. I know. No, I'm on it. <clears throat> This guy's out here trimming fucking He be going hard like Dude, he's every trimmed day. down the whole goddamn woods back there. Where is he? <clears throat> I don't know. Look look behind his house at how how few like how there's so much less trees than when we moved in here like uh, I'm uh, being over honest, a year I didn't ago. notice until just now. <laughs> 
I don't even know. Are you still? I can't even. No. Do you see how many? See, you know, I have this thing where I only pay attention to things that I want to pay attention to. That was not one of them. Yeah, you keep your eyes on the prize. I know. I know. I should be better with that, but you know, that's just me. All right, you're gonna have to accept it. I accept it. That's a big pile. Oh, you hear her? Yeah. <laughs> Look, they make They always have big piles for the fire. Yeah, they have big ass fires. <laughs> it's not really a fire. You sit around. Your sister's doing, been doing some nice things. What do you mean? Drawing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see them. My my uh, my dad said she drew something that was like really I fucking put, good. I went to her um page. I don't remember what it was that he said that she draw that she, that she drew that was really awesome. I saw something cool that I gotta show you later. Was it a picture of Lena? <clears throat> yeah, it was. It's a picture of, of Lena the, of the dog. Yeah. I didn't see that, or did I? I don't know. Wow, that really does look <clears throat> a lot like. Oh, her. I see him now. Holy he, crap! He's behind that big ass tree. We're not talking about that anymore, are we? <laughs> <laughs> So today I combined my crafting mediums <laughs> from the past two days Can and I love the results. I also took a nice wander around the nature outside my door. Shout out to so-and-so for the inspiration via the cyber sand dunes and found a pretty, really pretty place with new growth right by the lake. Can I say... Good see, creative and reflective times. I thought that was going to say good creative and reflective I, vibes and I, I was going to punch her <laughs> in the face and through this fucking phone. <laughs> can I see Lena? <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot just, of people. It's just the face of the, of Lena, but it looks a lot like her. Oh wow! Right? Nice, like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Um. A lot of people told uh, me today that we're really cute. Who you and for me? For what we're gonna do tonight? That I told them we're gonna do for the special day today. They I said we're them, cute because of that. I told them how we are going to dress up. For dinner, you know. I think we need to. Me too. I've been feeling. I mean, especially the hair. You know how my hair is, and Baby, it's, I'm just not great. feeling. I'm not feeling good about it, and I just feel like maybe I gotta. Your hair looks dress the better same, a little bit. The same today <clears throat> as it always does. No. It doesn't look any different. Wrong. <laughs> I don't see it. He doesn't, but that's okay, cause I do. All right, look. All I'm right. to look at it. All right. <laughs> it's always nappy. You're black. It ain't always nappy, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how your hair is. No. When I got perms, it wasn't nappy. But that's we're not doing that anymore. I know. We're not doing the perm thing I know. anymore. And it's in the it's in the going natural, so it's nappy. It's gonna be nappy for a long time. Nappy it's natural. just it's just the bad process part of it, and it, 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 it stage. it's bad because of for some reason my <sighs> beauticianist is yeah. closed. She's closed. She's closed, and now I can't. I need to go get my hair, what's called my hair washed and a silk press press, <laughs> which is just my hair getting straightened, and. No, I can't do it by myself because she does it a certain way, uses certain things in my hair, a makes silk it perfect. Press is just straightening it. Yes, makes it very nice and easier to handle. It, handle, and that's what I want done next. As soon as she opens again, <laughs> why are they close? That is. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> why I got something in my throat though? What is it? I don't a little know. Jack Daniels. A little Jack is what. Put some more of that in there. It'll wash the. It'll, if it's in there, then you just put more of it in and it'll wash it down. That's science, you know. Oh, that was a bad. That was a bad one. Okay. How long have we been going? Like an hour. Really? Yeah. How you feeling? <laughs> I mean, like it's a special day. Is how I'm feeling. You know it is saying? a special day. What? Well, Maybe wanna What? Maybe wanna tell people what <laughs> the special day is. I don't know, you know. It's your special day. Maybe you could um, <laughs> I mean, but you're my love and you're me and Could you explain that to to maybe people that don't know? Explain what? How if if I if So since we are love Yes. 
like love you know some people say they're love after like a week no <laughs> that's fake love we are love okay oh okay yes and <laughs> <laughs> And since we are love, then that makes him me, and then that makes me him. <laughs> if that's not right? Yeah, I think. I don't know. Okay. So like if anyway, so what? So Go like ahead. if I think something, so you think something. Yes. So like if we come in, if we disagree about something, or you know something, what's an example of this whole thing? So like, so if I say like, um, this is my house. Yes. Then I'm also saying that it's your house, and I'm saying that it's our house because yes. I am you and you are me. Yes. That makes uh, then that makes it mm-hmm. us we. There were a lot of times where we had some confusion with it. He would always, still recently, say that this was his house, and I would just be like, I mean, it kind of is my house, <laughs> <laughs> and I would just be like, honey, like, what do you? I mean, what about we? And he'd be like, yes, we, because you are me, and I'm you, and we are we. Yes. Explained. Um, you think they watched Entertainment's Explained? Is that what it's called? No, there's a show called Explained, and there's a show called The Hundred Humans. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, how do you wipe your butt? Are you asking me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was the that was like one of the that was the last episode and that's that was probably the one that got the most attention. Attention. Um, I think when I was watching that, I was thinking about that, and you know how they use like the average was seven rolls, sure, or s- yeah, little mm-hmm. squares. squares. I think I would say I'm around there, probably. Yeah. And I go front to back. Of course. Yes. Yeah. And. What was the other part of it? I don't know. <laughs> um, well, like how you fold or like how you, assi- oh, so how you I, assemble it. There's a lot of people, you know how they just roll it, wrap it around their hands. Yeah, I think that's I was weird. thinking about that and that's how Coco and my mom do it. Okay. I know this because they pee all the time when I'm yeah, in the bathroom uh-huh. with them. And I do, so, I fold it up nice. So in order kinda. to roll it around their hand, do they take it off of the thingy that it's on? No, they just... Pull it. And they're extra about it. Just yeah, wrap yeah, their yeah. hands around it real fast and get however many they get, which they're probably up to like the more fifteen-ish area. Damn. Yeah. Just wipe their vagina with just no, to wipe the pee that, off their vagina. Yeah. My. Yeah. Holy I don't know. Fuck. I don't know if they're up there for that, but I know they're up there for number two. Okay. Yes. But I think my mom, she's probably up there about every everything. Damn. That's a lot of toilet paper. She's all, I need to be clean. I need to make sure well, this sure, stuff. But you can. But make, you don't need all yeah, that. Is what I tell her. I tell her all that, that yeah. action. You should see her brushing her teeth too. She's so extra, extra about it. And uh, I had a hiccup. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, she's funny. <laughs> Your mom is funny. I wish mm. I got to hang out with her more. Um, I know we were supposed to go to dinner. This weekend, all together. Uh, Why didn't we? Coronavirus. Oh Oh, my goodness. What the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) What the hell? What? A minute and four minutes. An hour and four minutes. I mean, at least we want an hour. We were trying to, we were trying to go this whole time without, we were trying to, I guess we were just trying to see how long we could go without saying that fucking word. Well, shit. <laughs> What's happening in my fucking work? God damn. <laughs> yeah, it is happening, isn't it? Do you want to say how Cardi B said it? No, you can do it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see how long we could go without talking about that, and we did. We did a pretty great job. We really did. We did a pretty great job. So you shouldn't be upset. I mean, upset we with definitely me. alluded to it a number of times. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. we don't need to talk about that. We really don't. I don't have a unique opinion about it, you know. I mean, everybody already knows what's going on. Why do we need to talk about it when we could do anything? We don't oh need to talk goodness. about that shit. That's great. God. Wow. Um, okay, toilet paper. That's right. We were talking about toilet paper. So how paper. do you do it? Um, I thought it was interesting on there how 
or or just in general i feel like people are really passionate about whether or not the role of toilet paper is 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 on like how it's on whatever fixture you put it on yeah how do you do you prefer i think it's weird that people are so passionate about it like why does like i feel like those people are just being just being extra. extra yeah i feel like they're just being annoying about it they're just how, trying to be funny yeah just trying to be it's funny. Not that funny no they just think they're funny. Yeah. How that one black guy, he he did everything the opposite of how everybody, everybody else would do it. Yeah. I kind of thought of you. I mean, I definitely do that. I'm <laughs> definitely a contrarian, but... Do you prefer it any either way, up or fuck. down? It doesn't matter. And if, I don't really care either. Yeah, and if it's not the way you want it to be, just fucking flip it. That one guy with the beard was like... I got told I was a monster, so I did it yeah, that way. Like, yeah. What does that even mean? Why yeah. would you that doesn't make <laughs> let it, that affect you? Yeah. It's weird that somebody would say that. You're a monster because you put your fucking I get, toilet paper. I get the whole, that there. married guy was like, my wife likes it that way. Because she's probably crazy. And he's probably just dealing with it. And that's Most his own fault. Crazy. Yeah. So he's probably, she's probably just, I will fuck you up if you don't fucking put this yeah, shit. Yeah. He's trying to make his life a little easier and doing what the fuck his wife wants him to do. You got to pick your battles from what I've heard. Yeah. You know? uh, what do you mean? What? What do you mean? Like pick you your battles like your with battles wife with your wife yeah, yeah. you got you can choose to argue about some stuff and other stuff you got to just be like yeah it's honey that kind of thing. <laughs> do you think you've <laughs> ever had any yes honey moments with me in the past two ish years where i've just decided not to argue or just been like okay she can win this one it doesn't matter that yeah, much that one we don't Probably argue really we don't really argue i mean we we argue about really stupid shit when we argue yeah. The the thing that we've gotten in arguments about the most is fucking onions. Think about that. <laughs> we've argued about me wanting to put onions in our food and you not liking onions. And that has been the source of arguments more than anything else. Yeah. And it's probably only been like three or four. Yeah. Other than that, we really don't argue very much about, about random... I mean, What's this... Come on, dude. We're trying God to fucking. Damn. We're what? trying to. These people don't have any respect. Oh my goodness. So many people with hillbillies around hillbillies here. and fucking bikes. I think we should move. During during what's going on right now in the world, I'm so fucking grateful that we live where we live. <laughs> Me too. Holy shit. It's nice. It doesn't really feel like life's that different. Like we're obviously at home. I feel like if we were out in powers and stuff during this time, but we obviously then. wouldn't be able to. Go just sit on the front lawn all happily excited yeah. how we were before with talking to people walking down all the time. Yeah, I but I'm just talking about Angola in oh. general. Like, oh, you like, just mean Angola? I mean, it's obviously really great to have like the yard that we have oh, here at this yeah, house. Oh, yeah, yeah, But I'm just talking about like not being in a city. Like, a big be, city? Yeah. Yeah. Be, even being in Fort Wayne would kind of suck. Yeah. yeah. But like... I'm so goddamn happy that we're that I don't live in a city right now. Me too. And this is making me never want to live in a city. Like I never, just the opportunity, just you, the fact that, that that this like this could happen again, and I wouldn't yeah. like and yeah, I don't. Have you this is making to, me never want to live in a city again. I feel like we. I could we definitely were, live in a city, like during a not pandemic. It, it would never, definitely be cool. I never really wanted that. I never really wanted to be in a place that was big and busy at all. I think it a lot would have people. its perks, obviously. It would, yeah. But I'm more of a chill at home, save money, not spend money on entertainment type of like. I don't need to go out. And, I like being in my area yeah, around. Yeah, I like not like being not around people of, yeah. and just chilling and watching what basketball it's a guy uh, he just rode by it's a dude on his it's on a, a dirt, dirt bike, bike. Yeah. like franklin like franklin on jitta yeah come Here. on man <laughs> kind of wish that was us though that'd be fun not really i mean kind of i mean fun. it would be fun but if i knew what i was doing if i got on one right now i'd probably crash yeah that's what i would worry about the most <clears> is yeah, we don't need you to do. We don't need to be like going that. into the hospital. So when do you think we'll? Times. When do you think we'll go on vacation? We're gonna take a vacation. Like you think we will in 2020 with the fam? Yes. Like September. I think it's gonna be in September. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm. That's what I'm shooting for. We were supposed I'm hoping, to be. We were you know, that's, to be on vacation last week. You know, that's the big birthday month. Oh, so yeah, I'm hoping no one. Oh, we wow. don't plan anything when my family plans something because I'm loyal, kind of. 
to the September month at least, just because it's How a lot. How many birthdays are in September? Like in literally your seven <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Okay, my mom, Mumu, Jada, Tony, Joe, Adarin, my dad, Uncle. <laughs> that's seven. <laughs> Did, but we didn't celebrate but we didn't Willie's celebrate, birthday. No, but six still. Yeah. Every all of the little kids had a birthday party. Yeah. We went to Texas Roadhouse for your dad's birthday. Did we do anything for? Yeah. And we then, had a party. Yeah, we had a party for Mumu's at her yeah. house, or Mumu had a party for Mumu. Yeah. <laughs> Jada was at. Who was at Sky Zone? A Darren. A Darren. Yep. That was a Darren. What was Jada's? I don't know. I think she's at your sister's house. Yeah, it might have been because I oh, remember the year before when we first started. That we, was um, a Darren's went, at your dad's house. Yeah, we went for Jada at Crazy Pens. Not Crazy Pens. We went to the Roller. That's where Jada's Rolls. was. Crazy Pens was this year for, for Jada. That was for Janice. Janice. So many kids, everyone. Was that September? When's her no, birthday? No, hers is October 7th. Okay. Wow. Wait. So, uh, shit. When did... Th- <laughs> <laughs> they won't hear this. It's okay. <laughs> um, when did the birthdays start in September? And when did they end? September 1st. Okay. Moves is September 1st. And when did they end? Oh, my mom's. Fuck. September 24th. Fuck. Yeah, so literally the whole month. I don't... I usually... I the past years, I haven't planned anything with my friends and stuff. Damn. Because I just know September, I'm busy. My vacation expires on September 28th, so I got to use it before then. What? September, October, September, August. I was thinking. I'll take a vacation in the beginning of August, though, to go to the cottage for cottage weekend. That's right. Or I guess it's not even the beginning. Now we moved it back to the second weekend of August. So it's... Shit, that's going to be hard. Well, maybe I'll just use some of the vacation. I'm not even totally positive that the vacation is the stuff that doesn't roll over. It might be sick days i don't fucking know <laughs> either way we're going and we're going on a vacation we got to get you on a vacation i mean i'm i'm going yeah we got to get you i need to be somewhere out there in this world a little bit yeah we need to take you need to see a really awesome mountain range yeah you know or like i a, was on a kind of vacation but like i don't count it because i was limited to a lot what for women's the basketball thing? team yeah. no not for all-star oh in vegas yeah that's I mean that's I guess, an experience you still did shit yeah it was yeah it was still cool but I still could have I know I would have done a lot more if I wasn't with the team obviously yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. but that's why I don't really count it that much I don't really count I don't count things that like basketball Virginia was also a trip I mean, that was those awesome kinda, still, like, a, like a business trip quote yeah. unquote is, a, is I mean it's still a trip it was still awesome yeah, yeah I appreciate them the very book, much the book that I'm reading right now um um, rich dad, poor dad. That was like one of the things that he talked about is how like if you form a corporation or a company, there's a lot of like tax benefits in that, and you can just take vacations and make it a business trip. Yeah. Like you can make like if you have a a board of directors, you can have a board of directors meeting in Hawaii mm-hmm. and go to Hawaii for a week to have board of directors meetings, but you're really only in meetings for. If you're there for seven days, you're probably in meetings for like fuck ten hours, right? Maybe, yeah. And the rest of it is a vacation, yeah. and you can write all that shit off. That's how that whole thing was with. You remember Herbalife? I was talking. I yeah. showed you. Yeah. Like I'm still. He's still trying to get me to like. Who was that? The foreign exchange kid. Oh yeah, yeah. your buddy from and high he's, school. Yeah, he's still been. Even talk to me now, trying to message me like once a month, <laughs> trying that to get stuff me into seems that. Like and a Ponzi it's, scheme. I know, yeah. That's why I'm just like, yeah, I'll yeah. get back to you when I can. But yeah. like, I'm just like, eh. but I mean, he's he showed me like what he's doing and stuff, and it's awesome. But I, I yeah. don't think I, I just I was just like, Sometimes. I have stuff to still worry about. I have to get a good job to get going first, and I'm just like, eh. <laughs> But I mean, that's something that's cool if it actually happens for you, because they just go on business trips for however long, and they have meetings for. I mean, that you could get lab. a good job like that. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying I can't wait to ra- just yeah. focus on this while I'm trying to. At some get point, money. at some point, <laughs> if you and I want to live the life that we want to live, we're gonna have to. 
we're going to have to either make a decision that we're just going to be happy with the life that we have and be happy with working our asses off and not really getting I don't like it. a bunch of <laughs> a bunch in return and, and never making the kind of money that we want to make to be able to live the kind of life that we want to live. Or we're going to have to jump off of the fucking diving board. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to take the leap at some point if, if we really. That's yeah. what I was thinking about with. I was just sitting in the room by myself the other day and I was thinking about that stuff. I was thinking about my family and how I'm not really like them. They just kind of are satisfied with what they have and stuff. But I'm just trying. I I know that I want a nice big house. I know I want like a nice pool in the backyard or a boat in the front with a lake. And I know I want all this stuff and I want to work for it and I want to just you I want to I, I don't want I don't think you want that kind of stuff I think you want the life I think you want a life that also has those things that come with it like you want a life that you can make your own schedule and be comfortable financially and also yes. all that stuff comes with it yeah. I don't I don't want you to sound I like mean, you're like yeah. a material because you're no. not materialistic <laughs> at all there is something really um like commendable about about the way that your sisters and your family is just cool with what they got you know like it, it's probably easier to oh. to not be super like driven or passionate <clears throat> or like um like they probably don't have the anxiety that i've got when when i feel like i'm not working hard enough or like i feel like i'm not doing enough or I feel like I'm not investing enough of my yeah. time into... My sister gets, like, Jinjin, she gets migraines and stuff. Like, she's had this for years. She always is complaining about, like, working and stuff all the time. And is still in an apartment and stuff. But yeah. she's never saying that she wants <clears throat> certain things and all that. But I think... I don't know. I've never heard her say that she wants to do this and that to get there and then yeah. like with my dad I feel like he was but do you think they're really me. happy with what they've got or no. do you think they're no, just no, no. settling that's what I'm saying yeah. I, I, I don't think there like are... my dad I think he was settled like kind of happy with what he had at the moment he thought that nothing could get worse for him but he's mm-hmm. obviously realizing that life will suck <laughs> sucking yeah and now he's like screwed basically he can't do anything about it yeah he's a little he's a little old at this point yeah. to to turn things around yeah but there is there there are people out there that they're in the rat race so to speak you know they work the nine to five they make their money they pay their expenses they don't have a ton of money left over and they're happy with that they've got a good life they have a family that loves them and that they love they have a roof over their head they just want to get married have kids i feel like they'd say that they're live. happy about it but they're not actually happy so do you about don't it. think that they're actually happy no yeah i would i would kind of tend to agree a little bit but I there are think, definitely I, I people think, out there that i think are cool with it yeah i think they just say that they're like thankful for it because On they Facebook. at least have that <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And they are like... Fuck Facebook, dude. Right. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I right, fucking I'll hate check, Facebook, Facebook so much. I'll check it. I almost invested in Facebook today, and then I thought, no, nope, really? don't do it. And it was 137 bucks per share, and I don't have that kind of money to throw at Facebook. What? What are you talking about? Nothing. Okay. This book that I'm reading is making me really want to start investing money and and oh, having a so passive that's income what you're doing. that's where all this is coming you're answering from. my what from earlier this morning when i said what remember i still don't know what you were talking about you told me you were telling me that you were trying to invest stuff or whatever and then i said what oh and then that's the answer i want to be pretty much oh i thought you were talking about specifics because i read you like a the profile of a company that yeah, i was yeah, thinking yeah. about investing no, in i wasn't and saying what's like, what? that <laughs> oh okay. i was just like what are you doing <laughs> I'm trying to make us some money. I'm trying to make us. I'm tr- I want. I want to not work for my money. I want to make. I want money to. M- I think I'm very lucky to have someone like you because I feel like there's a lot of people out there that wouldn't be thinking or saying the way, things that you're saying. I want to have. I want to have income that I'm not working for. I want to just buy something that makes me money while I'm sitting in the backyard with yeah, you drinking that'd be a beer. Awesome. That'd be awesome. 
But Amazing. in order to do that, you need money <clears throat> to yeah. invest. And that's where I'm trying to get. I got to have some capital to make some investments that can make us some money. Yeah. So that we can have a, a boat. I want a boat. So that we can drive around and watch the sunset with a Michelob Ultra in our hand. Or a, a Honey Jack Daniels. <laughs> honey. honey Jack. We're only going to get Honey Jack. When we're older. Can you give me a, a good... Hold it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you wanted. <laughs> I want, can you wind up a little bit more? Hold it. Was that loud? <laughs> uh, I'm, out of, all right. I'm out of beer. Well, one sip. Here you go. Sure. Have a couple. Have a lot. So. 7.06. Should we stop? I really got to pee. I have to pee too, and I'm kind of chilly. Yeah, me too. Maybe we should start moving things inside. Maybe we should think. Should we have some dinner? Yes. Should we go get? What time is it? Should well, we get seven. Up for our dinner date? Yes, we're getting just dressed up. Now we are putting on a dress and a suit. You wear the suit. I'll wear the dress. <laughs> <laughs> should we do it? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I love you. Thank you for doing I love this. You, this my is love. awesome. Yes. Thanks for listening, people. Have a great fucking rest of your uh, day or whatever the fuck it is, you know? Yeah. You, 